All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And continuing where we left off in the last lesson, we're ready now to go ahead and make sure that our geometric rig is going to um, move with our NURBS control and, and animation rig. So let's say that if you ever wanted to go ahead and pose your character and still show that rig visualization, you can you know, then go ahead and do that. So what we first want to make sure that we have done is just grouped all of that geometry and simply just parented it to the actual master control of the rig. Okay, so now what we want to go ahead and do is just set up all the individual controls to be parent constrained to the geometric controls, or the geometric controls have to be parented constrained to the um, NURBS controls. So you just select the NURBS control, turn back on the geometric layer here, and you can just simply come up and constraint, parent constraint. Okay, so we just need to turn it off and basically turn it on um, for the constraints that we go ahead and do. So just go ahead off, turn that off, turn it back on, go ahead and parent constraint. Okay, just, you know, simply work your way through. And it will just take you a little bit of time to go ahead and get all this stuff done. Um, really shouldn't take that much time. It's just more or less uh, somewhat tedious method to go ahead and do and somewhat time consuming uh, to go ahead and do this correctly so you just need to make sure that you turn it off turn it back on go ahead and parent constraint turn it off turn it back on parent constraint um, it's just mainly a lot of repetition here so just make sure that we get everything selected correctly I think I need to, yep, go ahead and parent that one as well. Come over here, just frame in on it. Okay, so all those are pretty much done. Come in here and do the pot ones now. Just making sure that these bottom ones are going to move correctly. Yep. Now we can just come up here and uh, do basically the last of them here. And like I said, it just takes a little bit of time to just simply work through all this. And if you sort of just take your time, you can go ahead and work through it fairly easily. So we'll just go ahead and select this NURBS curve just to make sure that everything is parented correctly there as you can see. You also notice that I didn't do any of the actual facial controls um, and, and that's simply because to do this this would actually be you know fairly tedious and it's just going to take an extra long time so uh, I didn't necessarily want to go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and set that up. Go ahead and set this one up as well. Grab this one. But you guys can, you know, if you want, go ahead and do that. And so we simply just need to come in and do the last six here. So we'll go ahead and grab this one. Go ahead and parent constraint there. Grab that one. Go ahead and parent constraint that one. Go ahead and grab that one. Go ahead and parent constraint the inner one there. Okay, go ahead and do the last three here. And let's just go ahead and do the last one here. And that's it. So now if we go ahead and want to, let's say, add a control to where we can go ahead and turn um, these on and off. All I want to go ahead and do is just simply make sure that I have these off. Go ahead and select the master. 
come up here to modify add attribute we'll call this an enumerated value so we can simply turn it on and off we'll call this the reg visualiz uh, visualization and we'll call this off and change blue here to renderable go ahead and hit add okay we need to go ahead and make sure that we select our rig visualization so it has to be under the CC global master rig visualization come up here to window general editors our connection editor we're gonna reload this into the right take our CC global master rig visualization and just simply use the visibility here so you can see now where it's off and if I want and turn that on you can see where all that geometry is going to basically come back here okay and we'll just simply go ahead and delete our layer here okay I'm going to bring back my render window here and I will simply go ahead and turn the rig visualization back on and I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause and render this out and now you can see where our rig has been rendered and you can see where we actually have that little bit of glow as well so um, there you go uh, I definitely want to give a big thanks out to Ben Tate to Gris Tate and all the rest of the guys over at CG Touch Plus for allowing me to go ahead and show you how to um, convert all your NURBS curves into geometry so that you can go ahead and render it and actually have a visualization for any rig that you go ahead and create. Um, I simply used the flower here uh, because it was the, the latest and best rig that, um, that's been created so far so um, yeah just uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, continue watching CG Touch Plus for more tutorials in the future.